A suspect shot and killed by Rochester police. This scene unfolding late Friday night. According to police, the man was wanted on multiple charges and was the suspect in several shootings. We are told the SWAT team was called in. The suspect opened fire and was killed when officers returned fire. That team does not wear body-worn cameras, leaving some to wonder why. Atia Collins has kept track of this story for us. She joins us live now in Rochester, where this all took place last night. Atia. It was here in this neighborhood where police say that man ran through backyards and was eventually shot by police. Now, the police chief telling us she believed her officers did everything they could to minimize risk to public safety and that they followed the man for hours. Clearly, this is someone that you know, we considered very high risk, and that's why we had the SWAT team involved. Accused of assault and murder, the suspect, a man in his mid-20s, was followed by the Special Weapons and Tactics Unit for hours before the fatal shooting. We followed him for, for several hours trying to minimize the danger to people, and, uh, and so that was our first opportunity to do it when uh, he was by himself. When officers attempted an arrest, they say the man ran and opened fire and police fired back. An investigation is underway, but there is not any body-worn camera footage of the incident. Public safety expert and former RPD chief Dr. Cedric Alexander explained this is a policy sometimes used to keep tactical procedures a secret. That group is made up of a uh, well-trained group of police officers that go beyond the standard training, but in certainly in many agencies that may not have body cameras, there are concerns uh, that their tactics and their movements could be copycatted uh, by bad guys. The shooting comes less than a month after Rochester police fatally shot a man on Glassler Street. The chief says she understands public concern, but she believes this incident was done in a way that put public safety first. But if you have people that will, as you mentioned earlier, pull out a gun and just start shooting and not care who's in the vicinity, it's difficult to manage a, a situation like that. Um, I'm proud of our officers that um, it, they slowed it down. It took several hours. Following standard procedures, the officers involved in this incident have been placed on administrative leave. Reporting in Rochester, Atia Collins, News 8. Atia, thank you. And again, according to police, since SWAT team members do not wear body cameras, no body cam footage will be available.